welcome. Today I'm going to show you one of our favorite, favorite oh, recipes yes. because it's so versatile you can make it savory or you can make it sweet. And that yes. is rainbow colored spring rolls. I don't know how many of you know, but in Vietnam they're very popular and they're very fresh and they use rice cakes. And these rice cakes are actually super easy to fill up with anything you have at home. So let's go ahead and get started. And the reason why we're calling this the rainbow spring rolls is because I want you to understand the importance of color. We want our families to eat the colors of the rainbow. Each color means something different. Red, anything that's red, whether it's a red pepper, strawberries, tomatoes, it's really good for the heart and so much more. But just think red, heart. Think green, immune system. Think purple, good for the memory. So let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the original Vietnamese recipe um, has basically the rice cake um, or the rice wrap and they usually put as a base mm. lettuce mm. and they use um, cucumber and they use these wonderful noodles which are very very thin and you can find in most Asian stores so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put them in boiling water just for like three to four minutes until they become soft and that usually means they've cooked through and then we're going to drizzle with a little bit of sesame oil i like to put toasted sesame oil because it adds that added flavor and then we're going to go ahead and use them inside our wraps with our vegetables mm. so our vegetables what we have done is we have added a bit more color we have um, sliced very thinly. Can I tell it? What is this? Okay, it's the colors of the rainbow. You know. Yes, and what is this one? Uh, I don't know. That's red cabbage. Red cabbage, avocado, uh, that I don't know. Asparagus. Asparagus, pepino, uh, pepper. Very and carrot And carrot and pepper. And red pepper. So you see, this is beautiful. And so we're going to go ahead and play with these colors. It's the color of the rainbow. It's the color of the rainbow. Yes, and we're going to put them in oh, our spring rolls. Oh, oh. So let me show you how. So the original spring roll recipe um, takes in shrimps, but if you don't want shrimps, then I recommend using tofu. And here we have lovely tofu that comes in water. This is firm tofu. There's three different types of tofu. Thank you, Luca. And the one that we perf prefer at home is the firm tofu, and Luke is going to show you why. Why do we like firm tofu? Actually, curve our fingers so that our fingers do not get in the way. Now, one little preface. A lot of people will actually think that this is when you put the tofu in, and that is making a mistake. Oh, you're going to do little cubes? Yeah? Okay. But actually, tofu needs to be cooked. This is actually made out of soybeans. And soybeans, um, basically, they're just soaked in water, and then they're blended, and then they take away all the moisture by putting it in a box and squeezing out all the water. And that's how they make the tofu. No, because it's raw. So this is actually very difficult to digest. Yum, so what yum. I recommend is sticking it in a pot of water. We're gonna boil our tofu in the water until it actually surface. And that's when we know that our tofu, the soybean in the tofu has been cooked through. And then we can actually even put some tamari, some spices in our water to flavor our tofu because tofu normally does not have much flavor and it's hot, yes? And so we're gonna let this um, cook until um, the tofu floats. So, to make the original spring roll, you basically put it in warm water, and then you put it on a board, and you actually really have to work, yeah, you, he just finished one. Um, and you put it on a board, and you put your shrimp or tofu, if you want, a lettuce leaf on top. I like to put a little bit of noodles in the center, and then you can go ahead and start putting in the filling. You can actually break the asparagus in two, or I actually like to leave a little bit sticking out, which we're gonna fold, so it makes it cute. 
And we're gonna put in the cucumber, the peppers, a little bit of carrot, and of course, some avocado, which I think I already had some, but, and some red pepper for the red. And then what we do is we roll it up. Now, remember the recipe where I showed you how to make hummus? Well, you can also put the hummus inside the roll, and then you don't have to make a sauce. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of hummus, Lore, oh, hummus. for the red, oh, yeah. okay. which it has wonderful beet. Oh, yeah, yeah, beet, beet. Okay, and, and now we're going to roll it. And we tuck the sides in. Mama, can I do it? Yep. And this is the easiest part. And then? We have a roll. A roll full of hummus as well. There we go. Okay. Look, so here is our finished spring rolls. <laughs> bye bye. See you next time. So one of the things I forgot to mention is that inside your spring rolls, you can also put a whole bunch of different types of herbs like cilantro, basil, um, even garlic, um, young garlic that has grown or green onion. And one of the things when I visited Vietnam that I fell in love with is that they really consider herbs to be super important. And they will go to the supermarkets and buy them and they don't believe in storing herbs in the refrigerator because it kills a lot of the nutrients. Um, so they will go shopping to the supermarkets twice a day sometimes, keeping the family structures because two or three individuals of the family will be responsible for all the cooking for the entire family. And they really wait to see what the weather's like because if it rains, then you eat certain things uh, versus if it's sunny. And herbs is like a whole new other category. It's like, water. yes? We, and we have to give them water. Yes, we have to give them water and keep them fresh.